Property Lim Brothers is bringing you on a virtual home tour today of a privatised HDB four-room flat right here within the Spottiswood Park Estate. Now, we are located in Prime District 2, just a two minutes walk to upcoming Cantonment MRT and to the Central Business District. So, for buyers looking for a home that is out of the bustle and yet close to CBD, or for investors who are looking at rental play, this privatised tree bader at below the one mil mark could be what you are looking for. I'm gonna take Our tree bidder unit is situated right behind the conservation shop house along Blair Road. Now, as Blair Road and Everton Road is zoned as conservation area, these beautiful low-rise shop houses will stay. So we are on a lower floor unit, which means that you do get to enjoy the view of these shop houses as well as the lovely view of the greenery and community garden. We also have full privacy as there are no neighbours directly opposite us. So Spottiswood Park Estate is situated within a largely quiet residential neighbourhood. Now, this means that though we we are in a prime district, we are really away from the hustle and bustle of Chinatown and Tanjong Paga. So Spottiswood Park is just at your doorstep for your daily exercise. The nearest MRT station, which is the Cantonment MRT station, would have an exit within a short one minute walk from our block. So once the Circle Line extension is completed in 2026, you would only be two MRT stops away from Harbourfront and Marina Bay Interchange. Now in the meantime, the nearest Ultram MRT station is an 11 minutes walk and bus stops are a short three minutes walk away. And if you're driving, you have direct access to AYE and CTE that can bring you to the rest of Singapore. Now, in terms of grocer and food options, there is a mini mart at the next block at 102. Eateries and cheers along shop houses at Kampong Baru Road, they are mere three minutes away. More eateries available at shops along Everton Park area. We're also 10 minutes walk away from Tanjong Paga Plaza where you can find NTUC Fair Price as well as Hawker Fair and Fresh Produce at the Tanjong Paga Plaza Market and Food Centre. Now, we also know there are lots of F&B options at 100am, Icon Village and International Plaza. So with such conveniences within reach in an area close to CBD and the SGH Medical Campus, our unit is primed for both investment and own stay. Right here at 101 Spottiswood Park Road, we are in a 20-storey high point block with only 4 units per level, giving you more privacy. Our block was privatised in 1989, TOP in 1973, which gives us a balance lease of about 50 years. So within this block itself, there are a total of 76 units, all 3 beta layouts. Now, our tree bader here stands at 850 square feet in size. So, this unit enjoys a very flexible layout where all the rooms and kitchen walls can be removed. Perfect for those who love an open plan concept. As you can see, we have removed the walls of the first bedroom to create a landscape living dining as well as an open kitchen. So, this opens up the space. Really perfect for people who enjoy hosting and family bonding time. Now, it also allows for very good lighting and ventilation. For those who prefer to have three bedrooms, this wall can be easily reinstated. Other than two generously sized bedrooms, there are two renovated bathrooms and a service yard as well. So overall, this floor plan is squarish and efficient with minimal wasted space. Now, as you enter into the living, you are greeted with a bright and breezy living dining area. Now, the entire home has also been done up with vinyl tiles. Now, what I love about the current setup is the open plan design. So, just like a blank large canvas, there is also no built-in cabinetry. So, buyers enjoy the flexibility to orientate your furniture to really suit your lifestyle. So, our unit has a quiet facing away from the road noise. So, you get two panels of half-height sliding windows that allow you to enjoy the greenery and heritage view with all the conserved shop house right in front of you. Now for the living and dining, you can either choose to cover a study with sliding glass doors that can be closed up as a home office and open up during gatherings or use the current space as a large living room. Alternatively, you can also cover a balcony area near the sliding window to sort of relax and enjoy the views and serenity. Now another option would be to have your dining space right next to the windows. Now let's head on to the kitchen space. Originally an enclosed kitchen, there are some options to consider right now. So an idea would be to consider reinstating the kitchen walls but using glass panels so that you have natural light flooding in while keeping the smells away from the rest of the home. Alternatively, you can maintain an open kitchen concept by adding in a kitchen island. A yard is connected to the kitchen at the back for your daily laundry. Now, 
getting into the two bedrooms, you will realize that both are generous in size, which is rare for three bedders in this district. Now, the rooms can comfortably fit a king size bed and a dresser. So, the windows that line the rooms also allow in natural light and breeze. And the size of the rooms allow for several reconfiguration options. So, one idea would be to really resize both rooms and create ensuite bedrooms. Now let's take a look at the starting prices of the three bedders leasehold private properties within District 2. So we have International Plaza asking at 2 mil. The PSF is between 1,200 to 1,500 odd. We have Icon asking prices starting from 2.3 mil. PSF at 1,800 odd. We have The Beacon asking at 2.08 mil and above. PSF at 1,875. We have Dorset Residences starting from 2.55 mil. PSF at 2,100 odd. Guy Suites at Anson starting from 2.65 mil. PSF at 2,000. So we also have Eon Shenton asking from 2.48 mil and above, PSF at 1,900 odd. We have One Burnham, TOP in 2025, starting from 3.48 mil and the PSF is at 2,449. So you will find that our three bedroom unit right here at Spottiswood Park, standing at 850 square feet, is one of the rare apartments that is still priced below the 1 mil quantum within this prime District 2 area. So based on the current market rent within the area, our unit will be able to give an attractive 4.8 to 5% rental yield. Now we also want to touch on the transformation happening in the vicinity. So we are right in the heart of URA's Greater Southern Waterfront Transformation Plans where there are plans to build more residential homes, recreational options and expand the current office spaces. This will bring more recreation and lifestyle amenities near you which will attract more interest within our area in future. Now this also means more connectivity, more convenience. New residential developments will also uplift the entire pricing in this locale. Now new workplaces also means potentially expanding your already big tenant pool even further. Now all this translates to upsides in property prices within this region. Now we've come to the end of today's virtual home tour. If you're on a lookout for a quiet facing unit in a prime district close to the city at below the 1 mil mark with conveniences really within your reach, then do feel free to give our listing managers a call. Contact details can be found right here. If you like what you see, do give us a thumbs up. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and TikTok. My name is Zoe. On behalf of Irong, Property Lim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. So property lim brother. <laughs> so our three beta unit is situated. Okay, we have sky squeeze. Sky squeeze.